Hey guys, Kerr from Time Machine Transport. So, I want to do a video on my buddy uh, Bones. Wanted to see how I did my uh, TV mount. And uh, my wife was pretty impressed with it. She said it's pretty ingenious. So, my wife had bought me this TV. I don't know, it's probably a 32 or 40, whatever. Uh, she bought me it. It'd be th three years, believe it or not, this, this, this Christmas. So, Almost three years ago, she bought me it for one of my Christmas presents, and it literally sat in my box in my office at the shop for that long. And finally, she's like, are you ever going to use that TV? Because I'd love to see you use it one day. And she had bought me one of these fire sticks. Well, you notice I have two of them. Well, I'll tell you why I have two of them. I, while I was doing my windshield repair, uh, Amazon pulled in. So my wife bought me the TV. Um, we had a fire stick for it. The fire stick is this portion and this the plug is damaged as you can see not sure if you guys know how a fire stick works but it's actually very easy to set up if you guys uh, want me to do a video on it let me know but if I mean there's there's a lot of videos on YouTube you don't need to see my video on setting up a fire stick it's actually very easy all you got to do is plug it in it comes with your fire stick and we I bought this I, I'll tell you what happened so it comes with a fire stick, a power cord, and a plug, and this little, like, uh, uh, like uh, it's it's like a little whip in case the fire stick doesn't actually fit. It's too thick to sit. That's what she said. It's too thick to sit to sit in your TV. You can use this, and I'll show you how I have it plugged up on the back of my TV. And the reason why I use this, they also say by using this, it it increases your um your um signal strength i guess anyways so i had it all plugged in wednesday finally set it up and we have amazon prime so it's it's awesome if you have amazon prime prime because you can watch tv basically for cheap if you're married you and your husband can both be on the same amazon account it costs us like 13 bucks a month anyways so i hook up the, i get this all fired up running great wednesday afternoon i'm watching tv there's flies in here, so I grab a hand towel that I have on my shaving bag that I brush my teeth with and everything, and I'm swatting flies in here. Well, if you notice, I have two cords going up next to my fridge there. Up next to my microwave, there's a power plug. Why well, that plug, the one on the left, ran over here behind my CPAP into that power strip. Well, when I was swatting the, the flies, the towel caught the power cord and ripped it right out of the end of here and I had no TV like didn't really affect me because since I got my CDL in 08 um, I've never had a TV this is my first time ever in all my years and it's kind of it's I'll be honest with you it's kind of nice to have I don't think I'd ever go back out without a TV now um, so anyways it ripped it and my TV cut off so I immediately jumped on Amazon and if you look at, that's Jose's shop here in Barstow. So I had it, I just changed my, because we, like I said, we have Prime. I changed the delivery address. This was Wednesday afternoon. And when I was doing my windshield repair, Amazon pulled in and now I have a brand new fire stick. And I have television. So um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this damaged one, put it in the box when I get to the house, mail it back, return it, and I'm gonna get my money back for it. That's what you all get for for not having a Kurt Sabella damage proof product. <laughs> so, anyways, my TV mount, that's the reason why I'm doing this video, is to show you guys my TV mount. So that's what I currently have, and that's what I would recommend if you guys do use a fire stick or or think about getting one. I, I definitely would encourage you get one, except I would not plug it directly into the back of your TV. Have some sort of flexibility there. Don't make the same mistake I have because it was basically stuck into the TV straight or into my HD straight like that. And it, once you get that, it, there's no maneuverability there. This gives you some sort of play, which that's what I would recommend. So now let's get to the reason of the video. So one of the reasons why I didn't mount the TV is because I didn't, or why I didn't bring the TV years ago is because I, well, first I didn't really have the time to watch TV but I didn't have a stand so 
what I did was, yeah, I built these cabinets, and they're cheesy, whatever, but they're they're made out of birch, and I clear coated them, obviously. And everybody likes them. Everybody likes the way I did the the truck. I have this liner here, so I have storage above here. This is a, a Century class, and I got my my under cabinet lights up here, and I got all the storage up here. Anyways. The only person that didn't like the way I did it was one guy said it looked like I did it on a 34-hour restart. He said it looked rushed. I said it absolutely was rushed. So, not his business, completely my business. So, what I did was, and you could do the same thing. If you have plastic cabinets, all you got to do, this is just half-inch galvanized piping. So, you got a floor flange. I drilled through the cabinet and bolted it. Don't, don't try to just screw it in with a screw gun. You have to literally bolt it. I'm not going to pull this drawer out to show you guys. It's just a regular bolt. And then what I did was I took silicone because silicone is my go-to and it's a great adherent adhesive. And I just took the flange and I squirted a bunch of silicone on there, pressed it up there, bolted. And then I just took a razor blade and cut off the excess when it dried. So you got a, a floor flange, half-inch floor flange, a half-inch street elbow, another half-inch street elbow, a 22-inch half-inch galvanized pipe, a 90 degree elbow and another floor flange. What I did was I took a flashlight and looked up into these vents to make sure there was nothing directly underneath here because what I did was I drilled a very small hole through the four holes. I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna hit anything that was crucial. I just used screws probably like a quarter of an inch long. And I pre-drilled them and I did the same thing. I took the floor flange, squirted a bunch of silicone underneath there, pressed it up in there, and screwed it down and let it sit for a couple days for it to cure. And the thing I like about it is this doesn't stay on here because basically I did it so I can actually, so the TV can go down, it can go up. I don't want to screw with it too much and it can swivel so now when i'm laying in my bunk i can literally watch tv and from sitting in my in the pilot seat i can watch it from here if i'd like so a guy was parked over here today and he saw my tv sitting there and he, he's kind of looking and looking and looking and he's like he said, can I see that? I'm like, sure. He goes, did you make that? I said, yeah, I did. He goes, man, that is really, really cool. So it's very, very simple. Obviously, I have my my passenger seat out. Um, and and that is not piss. That is, actually, it's... So my, my brother, Jose, how you doing, brother? Uh, my wife makes it up for me. Hi, baby girl. I love you. I, I got the best wife on the planet. Um, it's, a, it's from Mexico and it's a root and it's sold in these little bags at a, at a Mexican store or Spanish store or whatever and just look for it it's for ailments for your joints and I drink a glass in the morning and a glass at night and what you do is you just take the bag and you dump it in a small pot and you boil it and it turns blue and then it's so intense that when you put when you dump it you filter it or whatever and then she even puts the roots inside the actual jug i fill it up and then i'll grab another gallon and i'll dilute it so that will that will probably give me two and a half three gallons out of that one gallon i mean you could drink it concentrated but i prefer to dilute it and i bring like 40 gallons of water on the road my whole bunk underneath there is just it's got like 30 35 gallons of water underneath there so and yeah i know it adds to my weight or whatever the vehicle but once i drink i drink a lot of water on the road Anyways, just want to let I know it's I digress, but it's not piss. It's 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 root juice, and I recommend if you have ailments, you should buy it. Um. So, anyways, so yeah. So then, basically, what I do is I unplug the TV, and it unscrews. I just turn it around three or four times. Once it's unplugged, you can see it's a threaded pipe that goes up into that floor flange. Once I unscrew it, I just put it on top of my bunk. And I don't have to mess with it. My wife actually saved my ass because I was initially going to take a a strap and go around it. And then that's the reason why I had this on here was I was just going to basically push the turn it so that the TV was upside down so I could see out my passenger side mirror. 
My wife said, do you really want to do that? It's probably not the best idea. And I couldn't have done it anyways because of my tote with more food and, and um, stuff in there. So, um, so yeah, so <laughs> she brought me back to my senses because that would have been a horrible, 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 horrible idea because I wouldn't be watching TV right now because the thing would have definitely fell off by now. So all I do is I don't leave it obviously there because I can't see it on my pass-through mirror, so I just twist it off and then throw it up in the top bunk. But yeah, that's that's pretty much enough. You had a, if you had a seat here, you could basically just do the same thing I did, except instead of the elbow pointing down, you just face it towards towards me. So basically, the, the elbow turns up like that. You run another little piece of pipe, and then you could run a pipe this way, and then do the same thing. So it could literally swivel over your passenger seat. That's the way I would do it. But you don't, like I said, that's all you have to do is this a different configuration there. But this. Instead of paying uh, 200 and 300 whatever dollars for a TV mount for your truck, which I'm sure they're expensive, and where are you, how are you going to put it in, depending on what your truck layout is, this right here cost me 15 bucks, I think, with the with the stainless steel bolts and then you know the piping or whatever and the silicone, probably 15, 20 bucks, and it's going to last. So, so that's it, man. I just wanted to. Uh, my buddy Bones wanted me to do a video on it, and um, I think it's, my wife says it's ingenious. So, anyways, I uh, just want to show you some ingenuity that you can do in a truck. So, anyways, please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.